elephant and the dog. Once a traveling circus was passing by the town. It led an elephant through the streets as a chief attraction. A crowd had gathered to look at him. Suddenly, a pug dog came out of the corner. The moment he saw the elephant, he dashed at him and started barking loudly. A shaggy old man shouted at him, "Stop your noise, puppy." This is absolutely ridiculous. Do you think you can fight an elephant? You have been barking so fiercely and still the elephant is intact at its place. It hasn't moved at all and is not paying attention at you. Yes, yes, said the pug. That is what makes me so brave. I don't have to fight and still people think that I am very savage animal. I am very clever and prodigal as well. I use my mind to trick everybody. The other dogs would say, "Look at that pug, he is so brave. Else he would not have dared to bark at an elephant." The boastful geese. A farmer was taking some geese to the town to sell. He had a long rod in his hand and was hurrying them. So the geese complained to every person passing by. We are so unfortunate. This farmer is driving us so roughly as if we are common ordinary geese. The farmer does not know that he needs to respect us. We are the descendants of famous geese that once saved Rome from destruction. One of the passers by asked him, "But why do you expect people to respect you today?" "Why?" "Yes. Our fathers the geese of rome i know but what i am asking you is that what you have done why should people honor you we why nothing then why should you expect people to respect you let your fathers sleep in peace they had received their reward but you geese are fit only to be roasted Ivan Sarvich and his sisters. Ivan Sarvich had three sisters. The first was Princess Maria, the second was Princess Olga, and the third was Princess Anna. After the death of their parents, the sisters married three wizards. Princess Maria married the falcon, and he took her away into his own realm. Princess Olga married the eagle. and he took her and carried her off to his own kingdom princess anna married the raven and he bore her away into his own realm prince ivan was now alone he had to live without his sisters after a year he set off in search of his sisters during his search he met maria morvena the beautiful warrior princess and married her after a few days she went for a war before leaving she warned even not to open the door of the dungeon in the castle they lived in but even wanted to know what was there in the dungeon so as soon as she left he opened the door the debt of kosche the deathless inside the dungeon even found koschei chained and gaunt koschei asked for some water and even gave him koschei drank 12 buckets of water and his magical powers returned he broke the chains and disappeared soon even got to know that koschei had taken maria morvena away with him even chased him even took over koschei He told Ivan to let him go, but Ivan didn't give in. Koschei killed him, put his remains into a barrel, and threw it into the sea. Ivan was revived by his sister's husband's powerful wizards, who could transform into birds of prey. The wizards told Ivan that Koschei had a magic horse, and Ivan should go to Baba Yaga. to get one too 
Without it, he won't be able to defeat Koschei. Even passed all Baba Yaga's tests and got the horse. A fierce battle took place and Koschei was defeated. Even burnt his body. Maria Morvena returned to Even and they celebrated Even's victory with his sisters and their husbands. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.